Hey everybody, uh, Colton here. I just wanted to do a quick little guitar video. You know, I haven't put out anything for a while. I'm trying to get kinks worked out in my recording setup since I use a mic and everything. I'm trying to find the right spots for the mic to be placed at. Um, but until that happens, I just wanted to, for a while, I've kind of wanted to been doing just a quick like guitar rundown of what I have. Kind of a more on the offender side of things, but Anyways, I'll go through them and kind of show you guys what I've got and a quick backstory, but I probably won't play them just because it, the video will be super long if I play through each of them, so anyways. So, first one here is going to be the 2021 Gibson SG Standard. I got this from a friend of a friend who was um, kind of reluctantly willing to sell it, um, but it worked out for me. I've always wanted an SG since I started playing guitar. I think the looks of them are really exotic, and I actually really like the red. A lot of people don't. They find it boring, but the only thing I've done to it is put the classic tuners on. I love the look of these tuners. I don't like the modern Grover ones, personally. That's just me. Awesome guitar. It plays well, and it's synonymous with rock, so. The so next one's the 2023 Fender Steve Ray Vaughan Stratocaster. I've always wanted one of these. This was kind of the holy grail for me once I started getting into guitar. It's a hefty price tag, but this is this was the cream of the crop for me. I've always wanted this. I love the hero of the adjustment. You know, it's based off of his number one, and Stevie was the reason I even got into blues. And uh, really only mainly use this for glassier tones, you know, and slow playing. I don't use it for heavy, distorted, or overdriven, even though it's kind of synonymous with the overdrive, but um, just beautiful guitar, you know. It's, it's nice, it's got the um, pow furrow neck, which is okay, but can look dried out at times. So the next one we got here is a 2023 Fender Hendrix Stratocaster. This was a big deal for me because I'm a, obviously a huge Hendrix fan. He's a local native here in Washington State. So, um, you know, I, uh, I wanted to try out the thin neck. Uh, it's cool because it's got like the reverse headstock, although it's a little different because the logo's upright, you know, so it's a little strange. But they, they wanted the best of both worlds, so putting a righty body with a lefty neck, you know. There was, there definitely is a feel difference. I don't care who you are, there is a feel difference, and there is a tone difference with the high E being this way. You know, you can bend the strings easier and stuff, but great guitar. I wish they went with white here, but most played guitar I have out of anything. Love this thing. All right, so this one's a rare one and a special one. This is a crafted in Japan uh, 2005 Fender Strat. It's a lefty. It is a part of their Japanese 68 reissue. So it's actually like really vintage spec. It's a seven and a quarter radius. Um, it's got the inlays are vintage, correct. It's got the 70s uh, Fender style, F style tuners on it. This is uh, pretty close to what Hendrix would probably be playing, as you can probably get. Um, it's pretty much a Japanese version of the Fender, the 97 Tribute Strap, but this was a lefty, and the guy flipped it to make a right-handed guitar, so it's cool. Um, took a while to get used to, but amazing guitar, and it's got the heel rod adjustment. It's like very classic. Playing this a lot now. So the next one I got here is actually the first guitar I ever bought with my own money. It is a 2020 Player Series Mexican Strat. Um, I love this thing, you know, especially if you're somebody who doesn't want to pay a few grand for an American. The Player Series, the Mexican made ones are, I think, just as good in quality and they sound just as good. I actually got this at a Guitar Center uh, sale. Um, it was on the used rack, and I got this for like 350 bucks. I think these normally go for like, what, six or 700. Um, awesome guitar, I mean, I haven't done anything to it. It plays well. It does have the HSS configuration, that's your style. I don't use the bridge much though, but great guitar. This one's kind of a different one. This is a 2002 Fender Starcaster. Um, this was, I've always wanted this, and I'll tell you why, and they're really hated, but the Arrowhead headstock to me just grabbed me, and I got this around the time I was first playing guitar, so it was different. I just wanted it. I love the logo, 
you know, it goes with Fender's kind of space themed. I really, really wanted this. I don't know why it's, these were marketed uh, to beginner players. It was very inexpensive. They still make Starcasters, although they completely redesigned the guitar, but they, they sold these at Costco and I got this, my stepdad got this for me. Um, I played the crap out of it. A 2023 Fender uh, Squire Tele, but it's actually kind of a parts Tele. So it is a Tele body uh, with Tele pickups. It sounds just as good. I put a 60s Ventura neck on it because I wanted the heel rod adjustment. Uh, so it's a Fender neck. Um, I like the classic look of this. I think actually they have this exact style off the Ventura series, but I got I built this whole thing with uh, under $500. So I mean that's uh, that would be even with pickups included. Great Telecaster. I've always wanted a Tele. It's just versatile. You can use it for anything. But I just love the classic look of this. I mean you can get this exact look. So besides the neck, I put like a Fender bridge plate on it or uh, neck plate, but. Great guitar, I love I love playing them. So this guitar is a special one to me. Uh, it's kind of my sticker guitar, but this was the very first guitar I ever got. My parents got this for me. It's a 2016 Squire Bullet Strat. Um, rest in peace to the Bullet series because they're not around anymore. I think they just retired them last year or they at least sold off the rest of them this year. Um, but this is, a, this is a special guitar to me. It's same as the player series from earlier. It's got the HSS um, set up on it. It actually sounds really good. The action is really high on this, but uh, I just kind of play it like it is, you know. Um, it's it's early square, but you know what's really interesting? It's actually got a one ply pick guard. I think the newer ones now have the the three ply or two ply. But um, anyway, it's a great guitar. It looks great, and I play it a lot. So yeah. All right, so we're on to the last electric. This is kind of a different one. So this is a 1999 Crate Electra. Um, these are really, really hard to find. I think probably part of the problem is that people thrash the hell out of these. Um, so these are the Crate Electras uh, in the Les, the Les Paul body style. I think they started making these in 96 or 97 and now, if you were to look up Crate Electra, they actually have them in the Stratocaster body style, but they did come out with these. Um, really well built guitar. It is actually really heavy. I wish they had the like P90 pickups in it, or at least, you know, kind of like the uh, SG, but it's a cool guitar. I got this gifted to me from a family member, so this was really neat. All right, so here we have a 2017 Main Street Guitar Company um, acoustic. This is part of their Lone Star Texas edition. Um, it's cool. It's kind of got the, the double edge, you know, um, black lines around it. It's got an ebony fingerboard on it, but it's really neat. I got this for 80 bucks during a family vacation. Um, I went into a pawn shop and they had this for $80 because of a crack and I cannot seem to find where the crack is. <laughs> um, but it plays well. It's really loud, uh, but it needs to be tuned. So, um, great guitar. I think it looks, I think it looks great. <laughs> this is the last guitar. This is my first acoustic I ever bought. This is a Yamaha F335. Um, that is one of the cheaper acoustics you can buy, but believe it or not, this is actually one of the best sounding acoustics I've ever, I've ever played. Um, I got this at Guitar Center for 120 bucks. It's a uh, 2022 model, um, but the neck is very heavy. It really wants to sit in your hands. The body's so light, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's so classic looking, um, but it's got a great sound. It's so loud. Uh, it's great for blues especially, but um, great to train your fingers too, you know, if you play an electric, but um, I definitely recommend getting one of these. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Just kind of wanted to do a quick overview of what I have. You'll probably see me play a variety of them in all the videos, but next video I'm going to make is going to be on the budget Band of Gypsies pedals. I'm going to remake that video because... <laughs> The last one had crappy audio quality and I mispronounced the 
company's name a couple times, so I'm gonna make sure to do all that correctly this time around. So um, watch out for that and uh, stay tuned. Thanks, guys.